Welcome to the Nightmare Experience. The Nightmare Man is a mysterious entity who can transcend space and place victims into horrifying dream states. Warning, this game emulates a nightmare and may be unsettling to some players. Uh, now, I'm not sure if you already know, but I played the two predecessors before this game, the Night Shift Experience and the Graveyard Experience, and this is the third game in the series. There's a newspaper here, Roblox News, local graveyard worker missing after UFO sighting. Oh, so that was me from the last game. This house is bigger than I thought. Can I leave? I can't leave, you've got a basement here. Hello, it's locked. I mean, it's not like anyone else is living here with me. I mean, I've got a double bed. I may just be a big person. Look, i got a lock on this safe as well. What do I have a safe? New email. Hey brother, thank you for watching the house with me. I figured I could talk to you by emailing myself. Would you like me to send you pictures from my trip? Adam? Who's Adam? Uh, sure, send me your pictures. Clean the bathroom. Whoa. What is wrong with me? I just pissed everywhere. Alright, let's clean this up with our bare hands. I'm surprised we don't have a, like, a mop or something in here to clean wet stuff up. Or at least get some tissues, you know? Alright, now I don't have an objective. Mail. Oh, now I do. Auntie email, another email. New email. Are you alone? Unknown. Uh, yeah, by the looks of it, I am alone. Also, who are you? Who are you? And why is your name unknown? Huh? Is this... Where is this guy? Is this guy gonna come to my house? Bag up the trash. Wow, another chore simulator, I see. Did I just not bag up the trash? Is it not working? Okay. Am I just gonna leave it there? Wow. Alright. I got another email. Let's go read it this time. I wonder what it says. Are you lying? No, why would I lie to you? My dear unknown. Are you out here, unknown? Come inside, unknown. Let's speak. Let's talk. Clean up the bedroom. Wait, the safe. I'm, I'm guessing there's probably going to be like a gun or something in there, like how it was in the night shift experience. Oh, what is my messy ass bedroom? Could I not look after myself? Why have I got so much beds in this house? Do I just like switch rooms every once in a while to go sleep in another room? Is, am I going to get another email now? Catch the rat in the basement. That's basically, this is basically night shift experience, but in my house. All right now I've got a dead rat. Can I scare off the intruder? Oh, no. oh, oh. <laughs> Another email. What is this guy doing here? Can I just... Oh. <laughs> Damn stalker, you were just in my house. Now you're looking at me from afar. Wow, so now I'm being stalked. This ain't the nightmare experience, this is the stalker experience. You got me. What? I, I heard glass shatter. They'd come from here. What? Who did this? Oh, this again. It's Snorri. Why is my name on that? Also, I made that a few years ago. Don't judge me. Answer email. Can you come outside? I mean, sure, I'll come outside. You uh, got mail. I can't go outside. Can you stop watching me? Or at least knock on my door or something. You got mail. Another email. Bro. I'm going to come in. No. No, don't come in. Can I hide under my bed, please? Hide under the bed. Yes, that's literally what I said. Alright. What are you doing, man? You can't just break into someone's house like that. You know, I should have just called the police right away. You know, he doesn't even look that threatening, you know? Just look at him. Look at his face. Also, he's a lot shorter this time. He was, You've got mail. He was taller in the other games. Answer mail. New email. Brother. One of the neighbors called and said they saw someone trying to break in. Get out of there now. Yes, that's what I wanted to do. Leave the house. Can I leave the house, please? No, 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 you better not be. Find the key somewhere in the house. Why do I have a lock to my own door? You should have put that on the outside so the people can't break in, not from the inside. Mysterious key. What if this... Wait, what if, like, the key to this is the same as the ones down there and here? Wait, can I open this? I can't. Wait, let me see if it's the same key for this. No, it isn't. I want to see what's down there, though. All right, let me unlock this. Find what the key unlocks. Oh, that's what I was trying to do. Can I unlock the safe? Oh, come on. Wait, how do I not know what the key unlocks? It's my own house. All right, we've got a basement in here. Finally. Oh, what, what is going on? 
Why don't I just drop back into my house? This isn't real. You're on a nightmare. You need to wake up. Oh, that explains everything. Ooh. Eyes. Why are they looking at me? Stop looking at me. Stop looking at me. I don't like being stared at, you know? Ooh. Can I wake up? What do you mean? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Can I get a gun? Do I just wander around until I get jump scared by something? How do I wake up? Oh, do I go in the other room? No. Also, what do I do with this dead rat? I still have it in my inventory. Okay. So, I, don't, I can't seem to go anywhere. Oh, no. Do I go back in the basement? I think that's what I do. Yeah, yeah. That makes more sense. All right. Please don't drop me again. What am I doing here? Well, am I stuck? Is this a bug? Is this a glitch? What? Where are we? This is my... Oh, this is a dream. Oh. I got a bucket, I got a pitchfork, and I got a de-seeder. I got a volcano in the background, a massive one as well. And we got a rather long, random looking pole. It's not even attached to the ground, it's just floating. And we got a nice, happy meat factory. We got cars and trucks in here. Let's look at the cars and trucks. No, there doesn't seem to be any cars and trucks. Oh, I can buy. Uh, let me buy a car. Give me a car. What? Do I have to work? Do I have to work for money? Do I have to work in this factory? There's other places to work as well. There's daily crop news. There's a crop drop-off. A local bakery. Although I don't see any bread. What a nice, lovely bakery. Do I have to go through the back or something? No, there's nothing. Just like how there's no cars and trucks in the shop that literally says cars and trucks. Oh, I thought that tree was something. What about this? I forgot. Happy Meat Factory. Yeah. The, it's the same message. Wait, wait, can I go in here? Oh, I can. Well, it doesn't do anything. I'm starting to get a bit creeped out now. This. Uh. Oh, uh. Yeah, I. Mmm. No. No, no. Oh, no, this is. Okay, this might be the scariest game out of the two. The other two games are just goofy. This is actually pretty creepy. No, this is creeping me out because. I, I had a lot of dreams in the past, and this is somewhat similar. Some, just somewhat similar, just slightly similar. I have to look around. Oh, there's a cow. Animals eat every two minutes. They eat any crop that is close to them. If there is no crop near them, they will starve. If you keep them alive, they will grow up, and you can sell them at the factory. All right, but I can't buy any of them. Look, can't. Oh, wait, in the Happy Meat Factory, an adult cow is $200, an adult chicken is $100. It's a lot cheaper here at the farm. Yeah, so if you ever need to buy an adult cow or an adult chicken, just come over here. Unless these are children. I haven't checked out this shop yet. Or, or this, crop drop off, put crops here to sell. I don't have any crops. How do I get to work? Go away. Just don't. Stop looking at me, weirdo. Gardening shop. It's in the gardening shop. Probably stuff related to gardening, but we know this game. We know the shops. There's going to be nothing related to the. Wait, what? Gardening? What does an oven have to do with gardening? Excuse me? I have to keep an lookout for the very sc scary, creepy man. There he is. So I'm guessing I'm going the right way since I'm seeing more of him. What, what about back there? Can I work? I want to walk over there. But I feel like that's just gonna take like a while. Long while. Whoa. Whoa, what's in here? Hello, I'm just here to work, you know. Uh huh. Oh. Uh, well, let's check these out first. Uh, it's probably. It's gonna take me a long, long while to get. To so, am I going the right place? Because I'm seeing more of him everywhere. So, I'm guessing the actual farms. Like, if I work at them, will I get money? And then I can buy the stuff at those shops over there. Oh, that's what he does. He's short in real life, so he makes himself look taller and more intimidating in dreams. So I'm scared of him. That's his little secret. Wait, do I have to look at him? I feel like if I don't look at him for a while and he's just like, staring at me from behind or something, he's going to catch up to me. Kind of like weeping angels. I don't think it's something like that. I'm pretty sure he just does that to creep me out. But this is one good thing they've done about the game. They don't just have the monster chase you and the constant jump scare overloaded. Well, except for the first two or three jump scares. But they actually, like, make it somewhat creepy. Like, look, that's that's creepy. 
And it's in a dream as well. Oh, all this just, just for me to have to spend more money. There's a massive tunnel back there. I don't know if that's... I don't know if I should go there. My objective is over there near the volcano. I wonder if this volcano is going to erupt. This is something that actually feels like a dream. It just gives you an uneasy feeling. Like, I'm not even like... Not the uneasy feeling where it just makes you scared up and paranoid, but just... You, you feel slightly, ever so slightly uncomfortable. Could I at least make my own farm over here? I mean, it doesn't look like anyone's bought this property. It's just plain flat grass. I can start my very own farm here. But instead, I have to go inside of this volcano. It doesn't look like I have to go to the top because the objective is down there. It doesn't say what the objective is as well. The music just stopped for a moment. I thought that, that was actually something. Oh. Oh, no, I'm just, no, I feel like he's appearing more and more. No, he's going to do like one one final jump scare at me at the end of the stream. Well, often it's just, this is just like one of many dreams. But I, I purposely took so long on this one. Because I wanted to go start my own farm and make money and bike adult cows and adult chickens. I can't even do that. What a scam. All this lava. I mean, what else would you expect from a volcano? But one thing I do not expect is giant mushrooms. And this weird stone platform. Is this some sort of arena? Is me and the monster f gonna fight to the death and he was just like kind of guiding me here? Oh, I thought that was like a massive version of the nightmare guy. Seems like the objective is here. Oh, I sleep here and I'll, then I'll wake up. This is my room. What's in here? Why do I have these? Wait, right, sleep. Alright, let me go to bed. I sleep. Okay, I'm sleeping. Oh. Home? Is this home though? You, Emil. This is the dream. You will wake up soon. No. No. Yes. What? I can't. I can't click anything. Excuse me. Well, you know, for a dream, this is really accurate. You know, I heard that you can't. If you look in the mirror in a dream, you'll see something creepy. Well, my mirror is all fogged up, so I can't see anything. Well, looks like I'm not uh, looking in the mirror today. If I'm gonna wake up, it's gonna be another way. Oh, I think I go in the basement. Yeah, that's what I do. Go in the basement. The basement is locked. Where else do I go? Yo, this is creepy. Oh, it did say I was going to wake up soon. Yeah, my eyes are like slowly falling back asleep. What if this isn't a dream? I th You were kicked from this experience. Kicked for trespassing multiple dream states and realities at the end. Oh, so that's the end? Already? That was a pretty creepy experience. It wasn't a jump scare overload like the other ones. I liked it, you know. Uh, that's the end of the game, I guess. Goodbye.